Hey everybody, Black Dragonite here. Welcome back to more Walls and Grommet Ground Adventures. In the last part, well, as you can see, all this growth, quick growth formula, a small and untended side effect. Giant bees! Now to the Grommet to corral the strike. Grab scourge and save the town. With some dead aim and quick thinking, the bees in the front yard have been out of luck. Taken down. Damn, Felicity needs Wallace to come and rescue her. Tree, but he's busy looking for a quick fix. He's quick growing from him. In the city center, Paneo finds himself trapped inside his shops by three big puzzles. Anyway, a humongous hive. Then a bee dancing to depravity. Well, if, well, if, if I could, I, I would. Oh, but it's not that simple, you see. Well, well, of course I'll be. That's nice, Gromit. In case you haven't noticed, we're in the middle of a bee situation. I'm on the phone with Constable Dibbins. You can show me your artwork afterwards. Yes, I know. I've got to look into that leak. Something seems to be blocking the downspout around the corner. But that's not my biggest concern at the moment. Hmm. Get these bees over my shop, would you? Who is it? Yeah, yeah, you good. again? I told you. We're on the case. We'll be loading the nets on them strax scoundrels any moment. But uh, I'm still waiting for reinforcements. I can't be expected to go into a conflict zone without yeah. backup. Dog larking about down there. Hey, you know my chunk. Listen here now, my canine constable. It's in strictly police procedure, but I might see me way clear to uh, deputize you. Just temporarily, mind, until this bee problem is taken care of. Would you like that? Right then. I hereby deputise you. Go get them, boy. Well, don't hurt them. That'd be police brutality. <laughs> Catch them alive if you can. Thank you.
word of advice. If you're trying to catch a wild animal, then you got to trap them. They're in a trap wild. But it's got to be sprung when you're not around, see? For the delay, Mr. Paneer, <laughs> I think you'll find the streets are now B3. <laughs> Heavens for the boys in blue. Now, I'll have to ask you to accompany me to the station. There's some paperwork we need to fill out. Nothing too bothersome. Happy to do my part. It's citizens like you what make my job a pleasure, Mr. Paneer. Is it? You again? Off with you now. Very busy at the moment. Haven't time for inquisitive dogs. Here we go. I know Constable Dibbins. Well, yes, like I said, he's very well trained. Right then. Goodbye, Constable. Work, lad. Seems you took care of the downtown gang good and proper. Yeah. But so long as they're still supersized, our job's only half done. I'd better get to work on a reverse growth formula. Trapped in yeah. town and in the front garden, too. Yeah. You're a regular yeah. big game hunter, aren't you, Gromit? <laughs> yeah. But there's one job remaining. The nerve yeah. center. I'd go down to the cellar myself and, and take care of the problem, but the blighters seem to have a bee in their bonnet about yours truly. Yeah. You do it, Gromit. You're good with animals. I'll stay up here and work on the reverse growth formula. Okay. What's this, lad? Yeah. An SOS note? From Miss Flit. Yeah. Why didn't you show it me earlier? <laughs> Hang on, Miss Flit. Help is on the way. Ow! It's no use, lad. Yeah. The bees outside may be neutralized, <laughs> but the ones inside are still buzzing mad, and they won't let me leave. It's up to you, Gromit. Okay. I go let Flick know that some... Um... 
Is he on his way? Did you give your master my note yet, Gromit? Good dog. Oh, good dog. Is he on his way? Oh, how long must I hang here? Tell him I'll be extremely cross if he continues to dilly-dally. In we go. In we go. Now that we've got that sorted.
Okay, now I think we've got everything we need. You've pacified all the bees, Gromit. Yeah. Good lad. I knew I could count on you. That's right. Poor Miss Flit is still trapped in that tree, isn't she? I'm coming, Miss Flit. Oh, <laughs> it seems I'm underdressed. Gracious! Yeah. Give him a sec. Hang on, Miss Flit. <laughs> So that's the story, Miss Flit. I'm afraid my miracle growth formula led to some uh, super-sized problems. Yeah. I hope you're going to get rid of the infernal stuff. Oh, I am. Yeah. And rest assured, all the bees have been dealt with safely and humanely. Well, that's a relief. But weren't you scared facing down an angry swarm of giant bees all by yourself? Frightened? Oh, well, I, uh... Hi. Well, I was heavily outnumbered, of course, but uh, they soon saw who was boss and that the uh, sting was on the other foot. Oh, come on. I was terrified. That's only natural, Miss Flit. Uh, uh, well, I had a twinge or two myself at times, you know, but keep a cool uh -oh. head. That's my motto. Look your adversary it. square in the eye and never let yourself get carried away. Oh, boy. Ah, put me down. Ah, get off. It's got me. Nora, the Queen's trying to turn me into royal jelly. The ingratitude. Oh, yeah. After I've built her a hive in solid brass, and the magnetronic pollinator thingamajig to take all the hard work out of honey making. Oh, I'm beginning to think I should yeah. never have mixed this growth formula at all. I ought to chuck it away. Hey, easy old girl. No need to get excited. Put me down gently, and no one will get hurt. Oh dear, nothing in the beekeeper's manual yeah. about aerial abduction. Help! Help! Draw me! Butter boy, I knew you'd come through. Take the ladder, lad.
Hey. What are you waiting for, Gromit? Raise the ladder! Lad. Now raise the ladder! of a plan B, Gromit. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> Who are you? Back on terra firma. Well done, Gromit. Gromit? Gromit! You all right, lad? No oh, good. Oh, good show. We've made it through this little episode in one piece. More than I can say for the autopilot, I'm afraid. Oh, the autopilot? Yeah. I do it. Looks like our troubles aren't quite over. Look out behind you, Grubby! Oh. Keep her at bay. I'll try and lose her in here. <laughs> Drive the truck. Friendliest of beasts, you will bear any amount of uh, abuse or indignity so long as he's allowed a place to curl up at his master's feet. But if he's ever separated from the master, Plenty 
of honey in the old tank? a little kick. Of course. Well, that was fright of the bumblebees. Uh, for the first episode, not that bad. <laughs> it's a simple part, and obviously a part of one of the. Uh, we've known. Well, with Wallace and Gromit. Wallace has an idea. Here he tries to admit, try and prove it using the invention of science. It goes awry in some way. And Gromit is the one who has to pretty much sort out the problem. Like a royal dog should. But at the end of the day, it shows there also shows the amazing teamwork in the final battle. Yeah. Uh, but next time when it, next time when I get round to it, we will get to episode two of the Walls of Grand Grand Adventures. It's more like they're getting used to their new size and the fact that they can now be more intimidating.
guys before they just seem as a nuisance. Yeah, we can definitely hear all that. Assume! That's an electric guitar. Ben Whitehead, the uh, main voice of Wallace. Major Crumb. get to episode two to either right away or I might have something else in the work plans to to go into. I'm just mostly working for the but it's just to see if I'm happy with that. next time. Telltale Pets. Thank the interns. Got the time. Time. Bye.